G'day, I'm Dave from Bloat News with the headlines. Have you ever been involved in car park rage? Well, this dude has. His name's Robert James Kenyon. He's 54 years old. He lives in Windsor in Brisbane. He's gone toe-to-toe with someone in a car park and ended up pushing him over until they hit the ground. Uh, A little bit rough, you might say. A little bit rougher when you find out the victim was a 79-year-old woman. Robert James Kenyon, get a life. It's a little car park. Why you need to turn it into such a big issue and be such a big girl about it, I have no idea. But um, I hope the court really gives it to you. You friggin' well deserve it. Federal Health Minister Tony Abbott has spoken out about obese people. Guess what, fatties? It's your own friggin' fault. Because you do, you decide what goes into your mouth. You can no longer blame fast food outlets, Maccas, whatever, for for your own condition. How much you put in, how much exercise you do, controls how fat you're going to be. Put in less, exercise more, you won't be as fat. Might take a bit of that advice myself. The Victorian Police Force um, has disbanded a squad called the Victorian Armed Defenders Squad after the Office of Police Integrity um, investigated them over allegedly bashing an alleged victim, allegedly during interrogation, over alleged incidents, allegedly. Um, <clears throat> now, the alleged offender has actually fronted court on another issue and has been sent to the slammer for 27 seven months. Uh, the issue? Fraud. So you'd have to think in a police investigation. Hmm. Let's investigate and let's get a credible witness who's in the slammer at the moment for fraud. I don't think it's going to work. Good luck with that one, fellas. Noel Gallagher, who headlines um, uh, Oasis, or sorry, frontman for Oasis. Um, In the news again, surprise, surprise, he doesn't mind shooting off at the mouth, doesn't mind swearing, doesn't mind carrying on like a dickhead. Now he's having a go at the Aussies, and in particular the Socceroos. He doesn't like the name to begin with. Oh well, deal with it. The second part of it is he doesn't think that Australia should play soccer at all. We should stick to swimming, tennis, uh, rugby, cricket, all those sorts of things that we're good at. Now, I'm figuring if you make it pretty well far in the World Cup game and um, you do quite all right, you'd have to be pretty good at the sport. I reckon we're pretty good at the sport, and I reckon we should take it to the Pommies next time in the World Cup and give them an absolute hammering. That's the only way they'll shut them up. Love to bring you the weather, but can't do it today. No weather girl again. Maybe next week. Who knows? I don't do the weather, by the way. No, not my gig. Just going to finish up with uh, Claim to Fame, the World Guinness Book of Records. There's some really good records out there. Take this one, for example. Mary Burrow in Queensland have set the World Guinness Book record for a pub crawl. They set the record Queen's Birthday weekend last year, topped it again this year. But guess what? The Pommies, mm -hmm, the motherland, has come to the fore again and beat us at our own game. So, now, Maryborough, population 25,000. They've had 20, just over 2,200 people participate in a pub crawl. That's nearly a 10% participation rate. County in England, 7 million people, got nearly 3,000 people to participate. I think that goes to show we are much better drinkers per capita than they are. Anyway, the record hasn't been finalised yet because at the end of the pub crawl, everyone's got to hand in their cards that have got to have the pub stamps on them to make sure that everyone's participated and you've got to drink at least half a dozen pints, or half pints, um, now, according to Anne Neoa, um, collecting the, the cards at the end is a bit, of a bit of a problem because, according to her, some people are tired and emotional. Well, let me give you the drum. They're not tired and emotional. They're pissed and legless. The last thing they're going to worry about is handing a card in. So no wonder it's hard to get the cards at the end of the day. Anyway, all I'm saying, big call. Queen's birthday weekend next year, Mary Burrow in Queensland... Guinness World Book of Records for the biggest pub crawl. Be there. I'm Dave. This is Bloke News. See you next time.